Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gamer Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. We're going to be taking a look at the fourth and final new normal raid of patch 6.2, Abyssos, the Eighth Circle. Starting off the fight, you'll begin with Genesis of Flame. This is going to cut off the outside of the arena, causing you to receive a burning debuff if you step into it, along with dealing a considerable amount of damage to the entire party. I'll then go to the middle of the arena and cast Sun Forge. This has one of two variations. When he summons the Serpent, he will do a large AoE down the center of the platform. When he summons the Phoenix, then he will do an AoE on the east and west side of the platform. So depending on which one he summons, you will want to adjust accordingly. It always goes Serpent, Phoenix, and then the third one is a random one. So the third one, you'll have to watch and make sure which one he's doing. He'll follow this up with Flame Viper, which is going to be a tank buster that actually does a line through the tank. So you want to make sure that you're not in front or behind the tank at this time. This does leave a residual bleeding debuff on the tank for a bit. So you will need a consistent healing afterwards. He's going to follow this up with the first Reforged Reflection. There's two different variations of this also, depending on if he unleashes his arm or he unleashes his legs. So th for this fight, we got the arm first. When he goes into the arm form, he will cast into the shadows, which will send two serpents into the ground. They will both do a petrification AoE around themselves when they pop out of the ground, so you'll want to make sure you're facing away from them. And then they will become targetable and you will need to kill them as quick as possible. If you do not kill them, then they will do a massive damage to the entire team and most likely end up in a wipe. While this is happening, the boss will be casting Gorgo Spit, which are line AoEs that you'll just need to be moving out of. And he'll end this phase with Ectothermus. This will do a considerable amount of pretty wide damage, but you'll just need to heal through this. He'll then teleport back to the center of the platform and cast four fold fires. This will put four proximity AoEs in the corners of the room, so you'll want to move towards the center of the platform for AoE healing and to reduce the damage from these. He'll then target two of these circles that will be left behind and cast Chthonic Vent. This will cause them to explode in a large AoE shortly afterwards. Once they explode, then Flame Serpents will move from the two that exploded to two other circles so depending on which ones they move to you will need to adjust accordingly to prevent ending up in the aoe they will do this two times for a total of three explosions he'll then follow this up with another sun forge so depending on if you get the servant or the phoenix you will need to adjust to the correct location before casting another genesis of flame which would just do party wide damage He'll then do his next Reforged Reflection, which will alternate to the opposite form, depending on which one you got first. This time we get the legs. So after a short period, he will jump to one side of the platform and begin casting Blazing Footfalls. This is will do a knockback from the center of the platform, and he'll follow this up with several knockbacks along the outside of the platform. So you'll need to check the order that these are happening in and then position yourself after each knockback so that you're not pushed into the outside of the arena. He ends this phase with a rearing rampage which does considerable AoE damage. Before transitioning back into the original phase.
After this, he'll go to the center of the platform and cast Volcanic Torches. This will summon three blue flames that will cut across the platform and then double back towards their original location. Once they complete a full rectangle, then they will explode in all of the squares that were surrounded. There should be one side of the platform that will be safe from these AOEs, so you'll need to check which area this is and then move into it. After this, he'll summon another set of volcanic torches which will come from a different side of the platform. This time there will be circular AOEs around several party members, so you'll also need to spread out inside of the safe zone to avoid these. He'll follow this up with another Sun Forge, so depending on if you get the Serpent or Phoenix, you will need to either move in or out to avoid this. And then another Genesis of Flame for massive party-wide damage. After this, he'll do the Flame Viper Tank Busters, so make sure you move away from everyone else as the tank. For doing another Reforged Reflection, going into one of the two phases. He should repeat whichever phase he originally started with. The second time he goes into the arm phase he'll also cast into the shadows this will summon four clones of himself along the outside of the platform that you will need to move into the middle of the platform to avoid the line aoe's that they will shoot across once the adds pop out of the ground then you will want to switch all damage to them and focus them as soon as possible once the adds spawn the boss will also cast the volcanic torches this will only cut off two platforms instead of three so there should be two different safe zones and while dodging all this you will also need to dodge his gorgo spits after this is all complete he will end the phase with ectothermus one more time once he goes back into his normal phase he'll start off with a four folds fire so you'll move to the center of the platform for aoe healing and then depending on which two he selects for the chthonic vents you'll want to position yourself away from these When the dragons move to the second set, the boss will also cast Volcanic Torches. So after the third explosion, then you also have to deal with the explosion from the Volcanic Torches. So make sure you're positioning yourself out of these AoEs. So then cast Hemetheos Flare, which is going to do a circular AoE on all party members, while also casting Sunforge. So you'll have a limited amount of area depending on if it's the serpent or phoenix to spread out to avoid the aoe's he'll end this phase with two genesis of flame for huge party wide damage so make sure that you are healing up in between the first and second one followed by a flame viper tank buster I'll then do another Reforged Reflection, transitioning back into the opposite phase. The second time he goes into the leg phase, he will actually do three knockbacks after the initial push from the charge across the arena. So make sure you're positioning yourself accordingly depending on where these knockbacks are going to happen. And then he will end the phase with a rearing rampage. And this should be it for Abyssos, the eighth circle. I hope this helped everyone out. If it did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you on the next one.